so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Whoa! <laughs> I'm up so high! Hello! I'm over Hello. here! Hello! Oh, there's a slide! I'll meet you at the bottom. Hi! <gasps> Three, two, one! Yay! <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Twinkle Play Space in Brooklyn, New York. I'm so excited because there's lots of fun things to do here. Oh, look down here. This looks like something a doctor would use. Maybe to check your reflexes? Whoa! <laughs> I'll just put this in my jam pack. And a thermometer. Something else a doctor might use. Interesting. Hmm, a clipboard? Maybe a doctor clipboard? And a stethoscope. Yeah, this is something a doctor uses to check your heartbeat. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> There's a note. Dear Mika, Pettenville needs someone to take care of its animal friends. Here is your veterinarian kit. I know you'll do a great job. Signed, Mayor Rooster. Oh, that's so cool. I get to take care of animals. That's what a veterinarian or a vet does. They're so important because they're animal doctors who take care of animals. Oh, look over here. A doctor's coat. Let's try it on. Wow, I look like a real animal doctor, huh? <laughs> oh, first on the list is a dragon. We better go find it, come on. Whoa, check it out. A really big, cool looking dragon. Hi, dragon. Oh, it's a mama dragon. Look at the four dragon babies up there. Let's see what the problem is. Hi, I'm Dr. Mika. What's the problem? Hey, I can't laugh. What? You can't laugh? Oh, that must be so frustrating. I love to laugh. Hmm, let me see if I can help. Let me just check your heartbeat. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Ooh, I like that beat. Heartbeat sounds nice and strong. Hmm, what are some ways you can make someone laugh? Maybe some silly dance moves. Uh, okay, Mama Dragon, check this out. Nothing? Tough crowd. Hmm, well, maybe there's something wrong with your throat. I'll take these scarves, we'll go in here, up the dragon's throat, and Maybe that will tickle the dragon and the dragon can laugh. Let's try. patient. <laughs> wow, we did it. Thank you so much for your help. <laughs> Have fun laughing. Okay, next animal. Come on. Wow, what a beautiful tree. <gasps> Look, cute little birds. Hi, I'm Dr. Mika. How are you feeling today? Oh, they said they feel fine, but they need their checkup. Have you ever been to the doctor for a checkup? Yeah, just to make sure everything is good and nice and healthy. Come here, little bird. Oh, so sweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is check your temperature. 
Okay, let's see, I think I have a thermometer in here. Yep, here it is. Just gonna put it under your wing. Stay still for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect temperature. That's really good. Okay, let's see what else we can check here. How about your eyes? Look at me. Keep going. Look, there we go. All right. <gasps> nice. Ooh, healthy eyes. You must eat a lot of healthy food. All right, now we're just gonna check your brother over here. What healthy birds we have here. Keep up the good work, eat healthy, and stay strong. Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This is a vet's office. Animals can come here to get some extra care if maybe they're not feeling well or they're sick. Oh, look, this is a cool place to give an animal a bath, make it nice and clean. Oh, these are bird cages. Cool. Oh, don't see any birds in there though. Hmm. I do see some animals over here. Oh my goodness. Look at this little kitty cat. It's sleeping. Shh. <laughs> oh, this cat's awake. Hi, cat. Do you want to come out and say hi? Aw. Meow. Meow. Oh, how are you feeling? Much better. Oh, I'm so happy. Do you want to rest a little longer? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll put you back. Okay. Aw. There you go. Have a nice rest. <laughs> Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, it's a horse. Yay, yay. Hi horse, I'm Dr. Mika. How are you feeling today? Much better, yay. Oh good, <laughs> I'll put you back so you can rest too. Aw, <gasps> another sleeping animal. It's a little puppy. Look at its little nose. So cute. Did you know that dogs can smell really well? Yeah, they have wet noses. Have you ever noticed a dog's nose? If you touch it, it feels a little wet. Because smells stick better to wet noses than dry noses. And a dog could smell a human over 40 feet away, or about 12 meters. That's really, really far away. Isn't that cool? Oh, isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, do you know what animal this is? It's a rabbit! <laughs> Look at its long ears. Hello? <laughs> oh, I think this rabbit needs to rest too. There you go. Aw, all these animals are resting. It's really important to rest, especially if you don't feel very well. And look, a little pig. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> look how cute. How are you feeling today, pig? Oh, that's great. The pig said it's feeling a lot better. Oh, good, I'm so glad. Well, everyone rest up, and I'm going to go look for some other animals who might need my care. You come with me? Let's go. We're on a farm! Wow, there's lots of farm animals in here. Huh. A chicken and little chicks. Hi! <laughs> They're so cute. <gasps> Three new patients! Let's see. Hi, I'm Dr. Mika. How are you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I understand, cow. The cow is saying that it's feeling a little lonely. Aw, well, looks like your x-ray is on the wall. Let's take a check. All right, looks like, uh-huh, correct. Yep, that's the one. Oh yeah, you look great. Your x-ray is actually perfect. But you said you're lonely, hmm. You know, they say that cows have best friends. <laughs> yeah, they have a favorite cow that they like to hang out with all the time. So I bet you need a cow friend. Hmm, do you see any cows around here? Did you hear that? I think it's coming from inside. 
Oh yeah! Look at this sweet cow! Girl. Do you want a best friend? Girl. I have a great friend for you. Come on! Here you are! Best friends, best friends! Aww! <laughs> Do you feel better? No. <laughs> awesome, I'm so glad! Did you hear that? It sounded like a cat in trouble! <gasps> oh no! There's a cat stuck way up there! I have to save it! Come on! Whoa! A fire truck! Ah, yeah! Firefighters help cats get out of really high places all the time! Looks like I need to save a cat! Here we go! I'm coming for you, cat! Dr. Mika, let me see if I can get you unstuck. Oh, are you okay? Oh, well, I have you now. Let's go back down the ladder. How are you feeling? Oh, <gasps> there's a fire. I better become a firefighter and put it out. Whew. Close one. You know what? I think I'll take you to the vet's office and check your heartbeat and make sure you're a-okay. Come on, meow. <laughs> okay, little cat, welcome to my office. Let me just give your heartbeat one more listen, okay? All right, make sure it's a nice, strong heartbeat. Okay, let's listen. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, sounds perfect. <laughs> nice, strong heartbeat. Okay, well, you've had a really long day, so I think maybe you should get some rest. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Come on, let's see if there's any open spots for you to lay down and take it easy. All right, here you go. Get nice and cozy and take a little rest. It's important to get rest, especially when you're not feeling well. <laughs> well, I had so much fun today taking care of those animals. Thank you so much for your help. And isn't it cool that dogs can smell so well? And that cows have best friends? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Awesome. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Mika the Vet, out. <laughs> Bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Peter Weber Equestrian Center in Rolling Hills Estates, California. And I'm so excited because today we're going to feed and care for horses. <gasps> And also, I heard there are some other animals here for us to meet. Come on, let's go explore. Howdy, y'all. It's cowgirl Mika coming to check on my horses. This rootin' tootin' town needs someone to make sure all the animals are taken care of. And I'm the gal for that. <laughs> okay, let's go get the horses started on their daily routine. I've been given permission to feed all the animals here today. Can you help me? Oh, great, I've got my bucket. Come on, let's go. Bye, Bobby. Hey, buddy, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <gasps> Whoa, he must be so excited to meet me. Did you know you can tell a lot about a horse's mood by the way his ears are pointed? If they're pinned back, that means they're not feeling very friendly, so we should give them some space. But if they're forward, that means they're looking ahead and it's okay to pet them. Oh, look, his ears are pointing forward. He must be ready for us to pet. Let's go. Hi, buddy. Wow, he's so soft. Did you know that a horse can look at Two different, yeah, that's right, buddy. He's excited to eat. Did you know horses can pay attention to different things when their ears are pointed in different directions? That means they're focused on two different things at the same time. 
but he's ready to eat. Let's feed him. <laughs> What's in my bucket? What's for breakfast? Hmm, what do I have for you to munch and crunch? <gasps> Look, we have some carrots and some hay. Let's go. Are you ready, buddy? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's try some hay next. <gasps> Great job, pal. <gasps> horses are herbivores, so they love to eat plants. Did you know horses don't have to brush their teeth? That's right. That's because their teeth keep growing and growing. And they never get too long because they just get whittled down when they eat. <laughs> really cool. <laughs> Buddy is a Palomino horse. Horses come in all different colors, like Appaloosa, Pinto, Paint, Black. I've got it. Let's go on a ride and find a bay horse. Come on, let's go. Check out all these horses. Okay, first we'll park Buddy, and then we'll take a closer look. Great job, Buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dismount now. Now he's in. <gasps> wow, look at all these horses. They're so colorful. <gasps> Check out Happy. Hello, Happy. Is Happy a bay horse? No, Happy is an Appaloosa. <laughs> cool. Let's keep looking for our bay horse. Check this guy out. I wonder if he's a bay horse. Hi, are you a bay horse? No, that's a chestnut horse. Let's keep looking. <laughs> oh, I see another horse over there. Let's go see. Hello. <laughs> Are you a bay horse? Oh, no. That's a Palomino, just like Buddy. Okay, one more. Is this a bay horse? That's right. It is a bay horse. <laughs> Hello. I'm here to take care of you. <laughs> Let's walk him over to his stall. There we go. All right, we're ready. Come on. <laughs> now that we're here, we should check his stall. It's important to keep a horse's stall clean from manure and mud so they don't get sick. <laughs> wow, it's spotless. Great job keeping your room clean. <laughs> Just kidding. Now it's time for some grooming. I'll grab my brush. Wow. It's important to clean off any dirt that might bother them under their saddle. We can also check for any injuries he might have gotten overnight. Great. Did you know that horses can run right after being born? That's incredible. It takes humans a lot longer to learn how to run. First, we learn how to roll over and then sit up and then crawl and then walk and then run. But horses can do it right away. That's so impressive. Must be because their legs are so strong. Do you need any lunch? No, nope, you've already eaten. Okay, guess my work here is done. See you later. Let's go check out what other animals we can feed. Oh. Wow, check out this petting corral. Let's see what kind of animals are inside for us to care for. Follow me. Whoa, there are so many animals. I see goats and alpacas. Oh, there's even a chicken. Let's see if they need some food. 
Come on in. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, it looks like he's ready. Have you had any food? That means, yep, I'm all full. <laughs> What's in my bucket? I grab my brush so your hair can be nice and plush. <laughs> okay, he's ready. Let's start brushing. <laughs> brushing is important because it loosens any loose hair and dandruff from their hair. Mm-hmm. That helps keep their blood flow nice and healthy. There you are, friend. Great job. <laughs> You're all clean. You look great. My job is done here. Wow, bunny rabbits. Let's hop inside. Hop, hop. Keep hopping. <laughs> Check out all these bunny rabbits. <laughs> What's in my bucket? What's for lunch? What do I have for you to munch and crunch? <laughs> oh, lettuce. Bunnies are herbivores. That means they like to eat plants. And they're very social too, so they like to live in groups. Let's count how many bunny rabbits we see. One, two, three. Three bunny rabbits. Oh, they're so soft and cuddly. <laughs> And bunny rabbits, their teeth, they just keep growing just like horses. But it gets whittled down after they eat. <laughs> well, our rabbits are all fed. Let's go see what other animals we can find. Oh, look at these tortoises. They're so cool. Are you ready for some lunch? <laughs> yes, I got you. What's in my bucket? What's for lunch? What do I have for you to munch and crunch? Whoa, he started early. That's right, it's lettuce. A tortoise's shell is really tough to protect them. They can put their head, arms, and legs inside like a cozy little home. <laughs> and these shapes, they're called scutes. Oh, that's a lot of scutes. Now that the tortoises are fed, I'll just scoot on out of here. Success! All the animals are fed, groomed, and taken care of. Thanks for helping me, friend. <laughs> That was so much fun meeting Buddy and all those cute bunnies, tortoises, and goats. They're all fed and ready for their day. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, y'all, see you later. It's me, Mika. Today I'm at a really cool place called Sequest Interactive Aquarium in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's right. Interactive means we get to pet, feed, and say hi to some of the animals we meet. I'm so excited to meet some adorable animals. Let's go. Whoa, check out this canoe. It has so many bright colors. Let's name the colors. Red, black, <gasps> yellow, one of my favorite colors. Orange and brown too. <gasps> I know, let's get inside and go find some animal friends. Whoa, the waters are really rough. Grab your oar. <laughs> Great job, keep going. Whoa, I can see the shore, it's getting closer. 
Let me make sure we're going the right way. <gasps> oh yeah, we're traveling west. <laughs> Keep rowing, friend. You're doing a great job. <laughs> oh, we made it to shore. Let's go see what animal friends we can find. Wow, look at these sea stars. They're so bright and colorful. <laughs> Let's take a closer look. Let's count how many arms this one has. One, two, three, four, five. Five arms. <laughs> Did you know when sea stars injure their arms, they just grow back? <laughs> and sea stars have a very interesting way of eating. They wrap their arms around their food, spit out their bellies, the bellies eat up all the food, yum, 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 yum. And then they go back into their body. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. That's called a sea urchin. It's round and kind of prickly. And that's a sea anemone. Let's give it a peck. Whoa, it's so soft. <laughs> Let's pet this sea star too. Oh, that was much harder. Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh, a stingray. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, there are real stingrays over there. Let's go say hello. <laughs> wow. <gasps> stingrays have flat bodies so that they could get nice and snug in some sand in case they need to protect themselves. <laughs> and they love to eat shrimp. Oh, hey, I know. Let's feed them some of my sea quest shrimp that I have in my jam pack. <laughs> okay, friends, it's lunch time. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Let's see if we can get some more Stingray friends to eat some lunch. There you go. How about a pet? Oh, here's a friend. <laughs> you must be really hungry, friend. Oh, whoa. did you see that shark? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. <gasps> whoa! <laughs> Let's feed him some more. <laughs> Stingrays move very wavy like this. That's because they don't have any bones. It was so nice to meet you, Stingrays. Let's go see what other friends we can find. <laughs> Whoa! I heard this tortoise's name is Stormin Norman. <laughs> Hi, Norman. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Tortoises have hard shells that protect their bodies. Their arms, legs, and head can go inside of it. <laughs> Whoa. And did you know tortoises do something called broom mating? That's when they sleep longer in the winter months. <laughs> Let's see if Stormin wants some food. I have some Sequest jicama in my jam bag. <laughs> Here you go, Norman. No, doesn't seem like he's hungry. That's okay. I'll hold on to your food for later. <laughs> well, bye, Norman. Let's go see some other animal friends. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Janelle. <laughs> hey, Janelle. What do you do here? I'm the lead keeper here. Wow, that's so cool. <gasps> oh, are you about to feed the animals? Yes, would you like to go in? I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's go. This is Azalea. <laughs> Hi, Azalea. What does Azalea like to eat? She likes to eat different kinds of greens and haze. She's got flat teeth so she can chew on those. Oh, wow. They're herbivores. That means they like to eat plants. <laughs> May I feed her? Yes, you can. Here you go, Azalea. <laughs> Yum. <Yeah. laughs> Perfect. Did you know wallabies can balance on their tails? Wow! And how are wallabies different from kangaroos? It's mostly size. Kangaroos get about six feet, where these guys get to about three and a half, four feet in height. 
Oh, so wallabies are much smaller. <gasps> Can I pet Azalea? Yes, we're gonna do a two finger touch down her back. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so soft. Can you tell me any other facts about wallabies? Yes, they're marsupials. <gasps> oh, I know what that means. Marsupials carry their babies in pouches. <laughs> Kind of like a jam pack. Oh, do you hear that hopping sound? <laughs> hop, hop. Let's hop like a wallaby. Hop, hop. <laughs> Would you like to go see some other animals? Yes, I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's hop away. Hop, hop. Oh, whoa, prairie dogs. I know, prairie dogs like to live in groups. That's right, they also like to communicate with each other through chirps and noises. <gasps> Whoa! Will you chirp like a prairie dog with me? Chirp, 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 chirp. And prairie dogs like to burrow. That means they live underground. And they like to nuzzle each other's noses. <laughs> and they groom each other too. That's how they stay clean. That's right, would you like to feed them? <gasps> yes, please. Oh, look. They like lettuce. Oh, are you ready to eat, friend? There you go. <laughs> what does it mean when they do this? They like to play with you. Would you like to try? Sure. Let's see if they'll play with me. Hello, friend. Will you dance with me? Can we see some other animals? Yes, let's go. Great. Who's this? This is Percy the Possum. Oh, Percy is so fluffy. He's a marsupial. Do you remember the other marsupials we met? <laughs> yeah, the wallabies. Wow, Percy has such a strong tail. Is that for climbing trees? Yes, this is a prehensile tail. Mm, prehensile means there are lots of muscles in his tail. What does Percy like to eat? Percy likes to eat lots and lots of bugs at nighttime. Mm -hmm. And he likes to eat little snacks here and there. Ooh. Would you like to feed him one? Yes, please. Oh, yum! Sweet potato. Here you go, Percy. Yum, he's got a big mouthful. Can I pet him? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> How does Percy differ from other marsupials? He's not turn off. Oh, nocturnal means that he sleeps during the day and is awake all night. How many teeth does Percy have? He has the most amount of teeth of a North American uh, marsupial oh. or mammal. <laughs> oh, great. It was so nice to meet you, Percy. <gasps> Who's this? This is Quilliam. <laughs> Hi, Quilliam. Is he named Quilliam because of these quills? Yes. <laughs> These quills help keep Quilliam safe. Whenever he's frightened, he just fans out his quills and that means please stay back. <laughs> Quilliam's an African crested porcupine. <gasps> an African crested porcupine is the biggest porcupine in the world. Can I feed him? Yes, you can. Ooh, what's this? There's yucca. He likes to eat root vegetables. Sweet potato, yucca. <laughs> Quilliam, would you like some yucca? Here you go, Quilliam. Very tasty, huh? <laughs> Whoa, feels like Quilliam has very strong teeth. He does, he has rodent teeth. They never stop growing. He's also got a special enamel on him that keeps him from getting <laughs> cavities. Oh, that's really helpful. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me all these animals. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, Janelle. Bye, Quilliam. Bye, Mika. Whoa, a coloring station. Would you like to color with me? <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'll start with purple. <gasps> I know. Can you guess what animal I'm coloring that we saw earlier today? I'll give you a few hints. This animal has eyes on top of its head and a mouth on the bottom of its body. Ooh, I want to use black next. <laughs> this animal loves to eat shrimp. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, I'm coloring with blue now. This animal has a really long tail. Do you know what it is? That's right, a stingray. <laughs> I think I'll name my stingray Shirley. <laughs> Come on, Shirley, let's swim away. <laughs> Look, Stingray, I can move like you. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun meeting all those Stingrays, and Azalea the Wallaby, and Quilliam the Porcupine. Wow, those animals are so cute. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> Okay, let's hop away like wallabies. Woo! <laughs> she shoots, she scores, and the crowd goes wild! <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika! And today I'm at Sky Zone with my special dino friend, Tara the T Rex! <laughs> Can you roar with me like a T-Rex? Roar! <laughs> hey! Did you hear that? Sounds like another dinosaur! <laughs> Let's go find it! One, two, three, roar! Are you ready to explore? <laughs> okay, let's go! Whoa! My navigator brought me to this cool wall. Oh, but the floor is hot lava. We better climb up. <laughs> oh, hello, little dino friend. What's your name? Hi, Tavi. Tavi is a triceratops. The tri in triceratops means three. <laughs> She has three horns. One, two, three. Try like triangle with three sides or tricycle with three wheels. <laughs> What's that, Tabby? You think we should head that way? Okay, I'll follow you. <laughs> Okay, we'll have to cross on this beam. Animals like dinosaurs and kitty cats. Meow, meow. <laughs> Use their tails to balance. Hey, I know. I'll walk across the beam like different dinosaurs. <laughs> okay, I'll start off as a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> stomp, stomp, stomp! <laughs> Whoa, I made it! Okay, here I go again! <gasps> okay, this time I'll walk across like Tabby the Triceratops! <laughs> here I go! I'll crawl just like a triceratops with my three horns. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, don't touch the lava. It's really, really hot. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. That was fun. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Okay, this time I'll fly across like a pteranodon with big wings. Can you fly your wings with me? <laughs> Great, here we go. Whoa, I'm soaring so high. <laughs> right over all this lava. <laughs> Woo, yay, we made it. Let's keep exploring. 
Mary. Whoa. Huh. What do you think this is? Oh, look. <laughs> Another dino friend. What's your name? Paul Parasaurolophus. <laughs> Paul has a crest on his head that goes all the way to his tail. <laughs> hey, Paul, would you like to play with us? <laughs> Roar means yes. Okay, going to make my way across to you. But I'm feeling a little nervous. <sighs> okay, I can do this. like we're in a rocky, rocky river! <laughs> oh, a carrot? And an apple? <laughs> oh, this is great! Because herbivores like to eat fruit and vegetables and seeds. A carrot and an apple <laughs> for my friends. Oh, I know. We should give these to our herbivore friends like Tabby the Triceratops <laughs> and Paul the Parasaurolophus. Whew, that was a lot of fun. What do you think, Tabby? Paul? <gasps> Tara? What should we explore next? <laughs> yeah! My dino friends would like to keep exploring. Would you like to come with us? Yeah, let's go. I'll put these snacks in my jam pack. Boop. <laughs> Ooh, a zip line. <laughs> you know what that means. We're going to zip line across. <laughs> oh, look, another dino friend. Hello, friend. What's your name? <laughs> Thomas the Pteranodon. Oh, what's that, Thomas? You'd like to give me a ride? That sounds fun! <laughs> okay, count it down, Thomas. Roar! 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 Here we go! <laughs> Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, Thomas! That was awesome! <laughs> Out that nest. That's Thomas's home. <laughs> oh, I want to climb up there with him. <laughs> I guess I'll use this. Here I go. Yeah, pteranodons make nests just like birdies do. Time to fly. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, spinning is pretty fun. <laughs> it looks like Thomas is taking a nap up there. <laughs> shh, shh, I'll just spin quietly down here. Good night, Thomas. <laughs> oh, I had a roar some time today with Tara and my new dino friends. It was so cool when we got a ride on Thomas the Pteranodon. <laughs> hey, Tabby. Hey, Paul. Did you enjoy your snack? <laughs> yeah, because herbivores like fruits and vegetables. <laughs> hey, let's take a picture. Cheese. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <gasps> Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika! Rawr! Come on, everyone, let's
Learn about it'll make you want to shout, Mika.